Today I got a little blast from the past, an old Asus laptop with a Core 2 dual processor. I'm going to try to do some stuff to it. I'll show you what I mean. Hey guys, what's up? Dale here. Um, check it out. <clears throat> Today I got a blast from the past, like I mentioned in my in little intro. Um, this is an old laptop, it's about 12 years old. Found this in my closet and I got about six or eight of them in there. So I thought I'd bring it in and see if I could revitalize it. Um, what I really gonna, wanna try to do is, um, I'm gonna put a new SSD in it, two and a half inch SATA SSD. And then I wanna see if I can win activate, I'm gonna put Windows 10, 20H2 edition, latest version. I know it's old, but I just wanna, get a fresh clean install of Windows on it and see if I can get it to work good. But it, um, it originally came with Windows 7 and the product key's still intact. This thing only got used maybe for a year back when it was bought and then it just got, like I said, chucked in the closet like I do with a lot of these laptops that I get for different reasons. Um, there's no hard drive in it. I took that out a long time ago. So it's just been sitting. The battery still works, charges up pretty good. It, it appears to anyway. Um, but basically, it's old. It's got an old Intel Core 2 dual processor in it. It's got the old GeForce G210M graphics in it. Like I said, with Windows 7. I believe it's got 8 gigs of RAM, I believe. And uh, it's got the optical drive. It's got SD card slot, Ethernet. It's got wireless N. It's got a VGA port and an HDMI port. That's kind of cool for, for the day. Uh, but again, back in the day, this was a pretty expensive little laptop. It's got that old ExpressGate um, Asus BIOS OS that you used to be able to boot into and do some stuff, but that's pretty much long gone. I don't think that's supported. But when you look this up on Asus website, the newest drivers and stuff they got for it is for Windows 7, of course. So I'm going to try to put Windows 10 on it and see what happens and see if I can activate it using the Windows 7 product key um, so we don't have to buy Windows 10. It should activate. Microsoft's still been doing that lately, but this is this is 12 year old laptop. I just want to get a fresh clean install of Windows and see what happens. So on the bottom side here, these are real easy to get into. <clears throat> There's only two screws here and this little cover pops right off. And that's where the hard drive is going to go. Here's the empty caddy. It is obviously SATA. And the BIOS does support AHCI, no secure boot or anything like that. So today what I'm going to put in is a brand new Crucial MX500 250 gig SSD. Pretty good little drive. It's gonna be a lot faster than putting a clunky old hard drive in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mount this in the caddy. Pretty simple, just four screws, put it in the caddy there. But I like taking these old laptops and see how Windows 10 runs on them and what kind of you know performance you get out of it. This isn't a high-end laptop by today's standards at all with that processor and that graphics, but it is dual graphics. It has Intel graphics as well as the GeForce graphics. I can do some light gaming on it. Nothing too major or high-end, so to speak. It'd be fun to try. But the biggest reason I want to do this video is see if I can get Windows 10 to activate using the Windows 7 product key. It should. But being this old, I'm not sure. That's an OEM <clears throat> product key on there. Once I get into Windows and get internet, got to be connected to the internet, I'll, I'll type in that product key and see if it'll activate. All right, we got that in there just like that. It's pretty simple. So we got to slide it in here for now. I don't think I have to use the spacer that comes with these. Let me see. Nope. Slides right in there. So I'll make sure it's in all the way. Now the two screws for the cover is what holds the drive in place once you put the screws back in. For right now, I'm not going to worry about that. Oop. All right. Why for is it being stubborn? But don't force. For, if it don't fit, force it. All right. So we got the new SSD in there, brand new, nothing on it. Now on these, I. I know that on any laptop or even desktop that's more than 8, 10 years old, when you go to boot off a flash drive, it kind of takes forever just because of the way the BIOS and the way they were back then. So I'm going to take my Windows 10 
installation flash drive here and pop it in the USB port. Plug in my power cord, fire it up, and it should just default to that. There's my charge light. So this is the power button main to turn on. That other power button is to launch the express gate, which I don't care about right now. It's just not going to work for, for Windows 10. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's just sitting here with a blinking cursor, but I'm pretty confident it'll eventually, see it's trying, it'll eventually boot up that flash drive so we can start the clean install of Windows 10. Let me undo this cord here. I want to show you something else that I, that I drug in out of the same closet. So let me get this cord out of the way here if I can. Brand new cord I had to get for because I don't know what I did with the original one. So while that's going over there, I got this bad boy. This is an MSI Steel Series gaming laptop. It's a beast. This one here is about 10 years old. I believe I got this from my son back when he went, went into the Marine Corps. He wanted a laptop to take on his Mew with him. Um, after a short time of being on the ship, it, it got dropped and it damaged the charging port. I think this thing is heavy. In the back here, all I need to do is order a new charging port and bring this thing back to life. Again, this has very little, very little hours on it, but it's a beast of a gaming laptop. They don't make them like this anymore, but it's like in mint condition, just like that other Asus I got. Oh, you can see it's, it's booting back here now. It's booting out the flash drive. So I'm gonna get this Windows 10 install going here. Hopefully it'll detect that drive, it should. But yeah, this has a, I believe it's like a second gen Core i7. It's, it's got a little, it's got the GeForce GTX 440M graphics, 1.4 gigabytes of dedicated memory. Um, it's a nice laptop. It's got, you know, the Dyna audio and all that high end stuff back then, but you know, not like both these, they don't have like M.2 slots in them. So you're stuck with putting in regular hard drives or SATA hard drives. This one here, I remember it does have two to a hard drive base, so you can put, you know, you could run RAID if you want. I think this has eight gigs of RAM in it right now, but I'm gonna get a new charging port ordered and see if I can bring life back to this one. But this thing is, back in the day, it was kind of a cool laptop, but it still is, but it's just, you know, kind of dated, so to speak. Just wanted to show you that. Brought that one in. So now on this screen here, asking to activate I'm just going to shoot, click on here where it says I don't have a product key I do but I'm going to put it in later it's going to be Windows 10 home because it was Windows 7 home so we got to choose that if we try any of the other ones that that key will be useless it's on the bottom here for Windows 7 so I'm going to hit next <clears throat> you can see that just kind of fun working on these old ones it's real easy to access the drives. You don't have to rip them in half like the new stuff. Except the license terms, custom. Here's our, oh, there's our SATA SSD 250. I'm gonna hit next and let it copy the files over. Once it does this process here and reboots for the first time, you can pop the flash drive out, of course. So I'm gonna let this go, guys. I'm not gonna bore you with the whole process here. When it's almost in Windows, I'll come back and we'll see if we can activate Windows using the product key. All right, guys, we're just about there. I'm gonna go through the quick setup here, Windows 10. To get into Windows, we can try that product key and see if it works. Your keyboard is set to just gotta answer a few questions here quickly. It'll take a minute. I'm not gonna connect the internet right now, so I'm just gonna plug in the ethernet. I do this so we don't have to set up a Microsoft account during this just process, very annoying. Change all this stuff later, of course, no big deal. Uh, no password. <clears throat> yeah, I don't care about any of that stuff right now. Normally I, dis norm normally I disable all that stuff, but I just wanna get into Windows. All right, what do I do with that? Flash drive. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. 
right, all right, guys. I, what I did is I got the product keys on my flash drive. I'm just going to copy and paste it where we need to go. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you, but it is the actual product key off the laptop. Take my word for it. So yeah, check out some of my other videos, guys. That'd be great. I got a lot of helpful videos on doing upgrades and SSD replacements and pretty much all kinds of stuff. SSD upgrades, memory upgrades, disassemblies. So, and give me a subscribe. That would be great. I'm just killing time here while it does this. Sorry. <laughs> Like I said, working on these old laptops. This laptop's in mint condition. Um, it really is. I mean, yeah, the batteries probably probably could be replaced, but <clears throat> it was used very little. I got a whole bunch more of them at home. A couple more Asus laptops, a couple of Acer laptops. I just bring them in when I have time and see if I can revitalize them. This will be a good little internet computer with a solid state drive. Be good for doing internet, some light productivity, maybe some light gaming with the G210, G4 graphics with 512 gigabyte or 512 megabytes of memory. Sorry, <clears throat> but it's got all the features: SD card slot, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, VGA, and HDMI. It's all older generation stuff, obviously, but for as old as it is, it's. Manage to stay in good condition sitting in my closet. <laughs> you can fast forward through this part if you'd like. But yeah, all the stuff, that express gate, that was kind of a big deal for Asus back in the day. It was a, it was a operating system you could actually boot boot into and do stuff including internet they had their own proprietary browser all right so we're in windows now i'm going to go ahead and plug in my we don't need the flash drive anymore i'm going to plug in my ethernet so we're on this side oops all right i don't care about drivers right now the ethernet is installed as you can see so we're going to need this. But I'm, all right, so I'm, what I'm going to do, as you can see Windows installed just fine. It's going to need some drivers. The video drivers aren't installed, but if we go on the device manager here, <clears throat> you can see there's a lot of stuff. There's a dual graphics. Not sure what that device is, but uh, Windows Update should take care of all that. Put the GeForce graphics driver in there. Because like I said, if you go to Asus website and punch in this model, there are no, only drivers are available are for Windows 7. So Windows 10 should take care of all that stuff. All right, so if we go over here to settings, boom. And this is the 20H2 edition I put on here, like I said. Well, let me go to system real quick. Uh, <laughs> two finger scroll doesn't work, obviously. You see, it's it's 20H2. Okay, it's got four gigabytes of memory. My bad. I thought it had eight. It's got the Intel, you know, a Core 2 Dual U7300 at 1.3 gigahertz. It is a core. It is a dual core, very old dual core. But there's our Windows 10 Home 20H2. And if I go over here to updates, I'm not used to not having that two-finger scroll. It says down here, window. Oh, Windows isn't activated right here so all I'm going to do is click on it on the bottom there hopefully you can see that right here there's no product key found so I'm going down here where it says change product key I'm just going to go over to my flash drive real quick I'm going to turn this for a minute guys <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. can't let you see the key sorry Here's my product key. It's just a standard Windows 7 OEM product key. Copy. I'm going to copy and paste it into here. 
I'm going to paste it right into here. I was trying to do that. Just just did the Intel graphics. Got a hold. There we go. Looks a little better. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit paste. Okay. I'll click next. First thing it's going to do is validate the key. Make sure it's a, an actual genuine product key. Then it should give us the option to try to activate it. So we can get a Windows 10 digital license. No guarantees, but I, I, like I said it for a while there, Microsoft stopped doing this back quite a few versions ago, but then they started up doing it again because Microsoft wants everybody to get into Windows 10, be done with Windows 7 and everything in between. All right, so now, so it's a good key. So let's hit activate and see if it'll activate. Without having to purchase Windows 10. I did a recently did another video with the same process and it worked, but it was wasn't this old of a computer. Like I said, this is about 12 years old. But either way, I can get it activated one way or another and then um, get all the rest of the drivers and be, be good, I don't know, use it for something. Keep it on the desk somewhere. This part does take a long time, generally, whether it activates or doesn't. Still says Windows is not activated. Drum roll, please. Uh oh. Boom. Windows is activated with a digital license. Look at that. 12 year old Windows 7 product key. Microsoft said that's okay. So now we got it activated. We're good. Might as well go to Windows Update and I'll start getting all the rest of the updates. So, yeah. So if you have an old desktop or a laptop laying around with your OEM Windows 7 product key still intact, you should be able to get Windows 10 without having to buy it just by using your key because Windows 7 is still a valid, you know, upgradable operating system to 10. So uh, at some point Microsoft might stop doing that, but it works for now. I appreciate you guys all watching. If you liked it, give me a like. If you loved it, give me a sub. Check out more of my videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.